I was asked to factor the equation x squared plus 2x minus 35 equals 0. So let's give it a try. So first off, we want to set up a skeleton equation. This is our skeleton equation right here, because then we can add the signs. And when I look up here, I have a positive and then a negative term. So if the last term is negative, we're going to put a positive and negative in our skeleton equation like this. Next, we're going to find the factors for the last term. That's the negative 35, and they should add up to the middle term, the 2. So these are the factors for 35. And as I look at the factors, 5 times 7, that would give me 35, and the difference between 5 and 7 is 2. So the question is, would I put my 5 or my 7 here? Since I want to have a positive 2x, I think I'll put the 5 here and the 7 here, because x times negative 5, that's negative 5x, 7 times x, that's 7x. So 7x and negative 5x, that would just give me 2x. And 7 times negative 5 is 35. But let's check with the FOIL method. Multiply the first, outside, inside, and last, and we end up with. And you can see if we add negative 5x plus 7x, we'll get 2x. We have our negative 35 and x squared. So this is the same thing we started with. We've correctly factored the equation x squared plus 2x minus 35. Let's take a moment and find the values for x here that when we put them back in the equation makes this side equal to 0. Because 0 equals 0, that's a true statement. So we could say x plus 7 and say that equals 0 here. So x add negative 7 to both sides equals negative 7. Over here, x minus 5 would equal 0. Add 5 to both sides. x equals 5. That means if we put 5 in for x here, and we do the math, this whole side will equal 0. Likewise, if we put negative 7 in for x and we do the math, it'll equal 0. So we've done this part here correctly. Note that if you use the quadratic equation, you'd get these exact values. This is Dr. V factoring the equation x squared plus 2x minus 35. Thanks for watching.